Today we're going to make a super fun and really easy to make scrub cap. Here are some in some information on the supplies, pieces, and the directions for what we'll be doing. One of the supplies you're going to need is this pattern to make um, one of the pieces. And what it is is a teardrop shaped piece and what I did is it's measured out so that the top length is nine inches the longest length um, top to bottom is three and a half and then you can see that two inches in it's three inches top to bottom another two inches we have our longest distance another two inches we're back to three two inches more we're at an inch and a half and at the end we're right back at the top again this piece is going to go against a fold of um, the fabric that you've ironed to cut your pattern out from and then when you open it it will be a teardrop shape. Here are our three pieces that we're going to be using. This is our teardrop shape. That's the paper pattern I used on top of it. So that is piece number one. Our second piece will be the panel, the side panel piece. And our third piece is going to be the bottom edge tie piece which um, because it needs to be 50 inches long, I pieced two small pieces together to get to that full length. So um, the first thing I did was I cut my side panel and then I ironed the side in and sewed them down so that the finished size was 23 and a half inches. What I did is I took my, um, my bottom edge and tie piece, which is two inches by 50 inches. So first I went down the length and I folded it in half and ironed that flat. I then took the sides and put them towards the center and ironed it up like this. So I have one long piece that is 50 inches by one half inches, which will be used at the end. It is I pinned my top teardrop piece to my side panel and the ends meet right at the point at the back, and the middle piece of the side panel was attached to the um, bottom of what the teardrop would be. Then you're gonna wanna go ahead and sew all the way around it, this edge so that everything meets and it's all sewn together. I flipped my hat right side out, and then I took my, my bottom edge and matching the middle of the front of the hat to the middle of the tie, I put the bottom edge of my hat into this fold and pinned it up. Starting at one end, I went and sewed all the way around this edge to get to the other end, and now you have your finished hat. Then you just put on your hat and tie the back up. You're ready to go.